Hi, boys and girls. How are you today? Guess what I found? I found another book about a duck, but it's a different duck. Can you tell by the picture? This story is called Duck Means Business, and it's by Tammy Sauer. Tammy is the author. That means she wrote the words, and it's illustrated by Jeff Mack. Remember, when you illustrate is when you draw something, so the drawer is Jeff. That means he did the pictures. He's the illustrator. Duck means business. Let's find out what duck does. Duck means business. Ooh, I can tell by the look on duck's face that he does not look very happy. What do you guys think? And he's painting some signs. The one there with the pink, it says, duck means business, right here. Here he is on his duck. Mr. Duck lived all by himself at the pond. Each day he followed a very tight schedule. And look at his dock. There's lots and lots of signs that he put up. The first one here, it says no trespassing. That means no one is allowed to go on his dock. The next one says, and don't even think about it. That means don't even think about coming on his dock. Up here it says duck Xing. That means crossing, duck crossing. And that is all. That means no one is allowed to cross except duck. Down here it says, keep off the grass. He just finished this sign. It says, no visitors allowed. That means no one's welcome to, to visit his dock. And the very last one it says, shh. Boy, duck does follow a very tight schedule. Take a look at this. Every morning from six in the morning till seven in the morning, duck would stretch his wings. From seven till eight, he would fluff his feathers. And at precisely 8.01 every morning, duck would glide across the perfectly still water. Ah, said Duck. It's so peaceful, so quiet. I have everything I need right here. Day after day, week after week, and year after year, everything was the same for Duck. And Mr. Duck, he was very happy about that. Then, one especially hot summer day, Mr. Duck had just began his morning glide across the water when he turned around and saw someone on his dock. Pig, said Duck. Look out below. Oink, 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 splash. Pig just did a cannonball right into Duck's Pond. Oh, Mr. Duck sputtered <laughs> and he muttered. That's what people do when they're angry and they don't know what to say and they just. And Mr. Duck even tail fluttered. It means he shook the water out of his tail. But Pig did not get the message. He kept right on swimming. Pig looks, looks awful happy, but Mr. Duck, can you see that? Not so much. Mr. Duck was all set to give Pig a strongly worded speech regarding staying off other people's private property when, hey, there you are, said Cow. Let's see your moves, called Pig. Jump on in. You don't mind if I do, Duck, do you? Said Cow as she ran right past him. Moo, 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 splash. 
Now, Tuck looks furious. He is jumping up and down. He's got two people in his pond. Oh, Mr. Duck grumbled. And he mumbled. And he foot flopped, fumbled. <clears throat> but pig and cow still not did not get the hint. They were having a great time. Not duck. Mr. Duck was all set to tell them what's what and who's who when. Hey, said goat, we've been looking all over for you. Anyone up for a game of Marco Polo, called Pig. Last one in is a rotten egg, yelled Chick. Come on, Mr. Duck, said Cow. You're it. I don't think so. <laughs> Look at that. The water got wild, the scenery got crowded, and the peace and quiet, it was gone. It looks kind of chaotic and crazy, doesn't it? Water splashing everywhere. And you see Duck? Not very happy. Mr. Duck tapped his foot that sometimes people do when they're really angry. He flapped and he totally snapped. That means he kind of lost control. Quack! He yelled. And just then, everyone got the message. Perhaps we've overstayed our welcome, said Chick. Oh, said the other animals. Out, out, out of my pond, yelled Duck. This time, I mean business. Oh, we're sorry. My apologies. Oh, goodbye for good, said Mr. Duck. Sorry to have bothered you, said Chick. Thanks for letting us swim in your pond. Aww. I think the other animals are feeling kind of bad. I don't think they knew that Duck was so upset about people being in his pond. Alone at last, Mr. Duck returned to his routine. He stretched his wings. There was no splashy belly flopping going on. He fluffed his feathers. There was no annoying water ballet. He glided across the pond. There was certainly no rowdy round of Marco Polo going on. Ah, said Mr. Duck. It's so peaceful. So quiet, and that's just how I like it. Hmm. On Monday, it was quiet. On Tuesday, it was very quiet. And on Wednesday, it was downright peaceful. On Thursday, very peaceful. And on Friday, yawn. Duck, I think, was getting a little bored. On Saturday, Mr. Duck began to twiddle his feathers. That's what people do when they're really bored. Peacefully and quietly, he twiddled his feathers. And then on Sunday, what do you suppose happens, boys and girls? What happens on Sunday? You think it's nice and quiet? Let's see. 
Oh. Mr. Duck had a plan. Oh, he's painting something on the signs again. And look who's all watching. I wonder what his plan is. What do you guys think? I think he's going to have a party. What do you think? Oh, let's see. Oh, doesn't look like a party. These days, Mr. Duck still loves to stretch at six o'clock every morning. And he still loves to fluff his feathers at seven o'clock every morning. And he still loves to glide across the perfectly still waters of the pond precisely at 8.01. But sometimes life calls for a little bit of noise. Now look at his new sign. It says, noise welcome from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Want to know what that means? That means his animal friends can join him from 2 to 4 and they can make as much noise and splash as much as they want. Let's see what they do it. <gasps> Especially with friends. Look at that. Now that's what I call a party. They're splashing, making noise, laughing, having fun. And Mr. Duck is right in the middle of it. Having a great time now. Because, you know, we have always said all year long in kindergarten, it is so much more fun to play with friends than to play by yourselves. And I know you guys are probably getting a little tired of playing by yourselves at home, but don't worry. We'll see our friends hopefully soon. But I miss all of you, and I hope you guys are learning a lot. Um, here, here's a big hug for you. I miss you. Talk to you soon. Bye, boys and girls.